Hello and welcome to the System Events tutorial. By the end of this video, you'll have a basic understanding of what system events are and how we can use them with Playmaker. Events are what trigger transitions between states. An event is kind of like a lit match, and transitions are like fuses, and states are like fireworks. So when you light a match, the fuse gets lit, the fuse burns all the way to the firework, and the firework goes off. System events are events sent by Unity to work with Unity's systems like mouse input, physics, and the UI. You can access system events by right-clicking on a state, add transition, and going here to system events. Let's try some of these out. Okay, so the scene I have here is set up with a red cube and a blue sphere. On the cube, I have an FSM, and in the FSM, I have two states. The first state has a set material color that turns the cube red, and the second state has a set material color that turns our cube blue. These states are totally separate now, so let's see how we can link them using system events. On the first state, we'll add a mouse over and use that to transition to the blue state. And then on this blue state, I'll add a mouse exit, which will transition back to the red state. Now, when we hit play, if your mouse is over the cube, it turns blue, and when it's not, it turns red. And you can see down in our FSM that it is going back and forth accordingly. Now, let's see how I can change the cube's color using a different set of system events. I'll leave everything intact here, but now if I right click on the mouse over and change this transition event to trigger enter, and then on the mouse exit, change this transition event to trigger exit, our cube will change color when it enters and exits the sphere. The cube and sphere are fitted with the appropriate collider and rigid body components needed for trigger events. See our video on triggers to learn more about that. So let's see that happen when I press play. I'll move the cube in it and it turns blue. And then if I take it out, it turns red. Okay, one more thing. Now in this scene, I gave the red cube gravity and lined it up with the stairs so that when it falls down, it'll hit the edge of the first stair, tumble down the rest, and then hit the ground. I kept the trigger events here so you can see that when I press play, nothing happens in our FSM. Cube rolls down, but nothing happens over here. But if I change these events from trigger event to collision enter, and from trigger exit to collision exit. These should get fired off every time the cube collides with the stairs. You'll see that when I press play, you'll see that when the cube collides with the stairs, the collision enter events gets fired, and when they're not touching the stairs, the collision exit sends it right back. Right now, it's colliding with the ground, so it's currently waiting for the cube to exit again. So in this video, we learned how to use system events to fire off transitions. And we learned a few other ways system events can be used with the way game objects interact, like trigger events and collision events. Be sure to check out our other videos to learn all the various features of Playmaker. Links to more learning resources are in the description.